A shift is coming your way and nothing can stop your change. You are stepping into the realms of supernatural wealth and greatness. You are moving from poverty to riches, from sickness to health, from bondage to liberty, from horror to honor. You are going from one level of grace to another. As far as God is concerned, it is impossible for you to remain at a spot so you are moving into the next level of your life. From whatever level you are, even when you think you have arrived, the Lord has something greater and much better in store for you. Enough of stagnancy, enough of regression, enough of being bound, enough of this disgrace, pains and sufferings. You are the child of the Almighty God and have been created for much more. You are not meant to struggle. No, struggling is not a word used by princes and princesses. So, goodbye to that life from this moment henceforth. It is time to embrace a life of beauty and fulfillment. A life that is championed by the Lord. It is time to experience the favor and mercy of God upon your life. You may have been hearing it for a long time, but now, you will have a testimony of your own to share. It is time to move on to your promised land. For so long you have been in Egypt, suffering for things that are not yielding results. It has felt as though you will die in that problem or situation, like there is no help coming your way. But God, who sees and knows all things, has heard your cry. He has seen your struggles and your woes. And he has sent destiny helpers to bring you out and deliver you from that situation. So get ready to move forward and step into the promises of God for your life. Get ready for a life of greatness and prosperity. Get ready to fulfill your destiny. The devil may try to stop you, but you will conquer in the end. He will send his forces and bring many circumstances across your path, but he has already failed concerning your case. In Christ, you are victorious and more than a conqueror. You are a victor in Christ, and that is the assurance that you have that you will come out on top. These problems are just for the meantime, and they will definitely leave within the twinkling of an eye. Though sorrows may last all the night, joy comes in the morning. This is the morning of your life and it is time to experience God's blessings. Darkness is all behind you now and it is time to walk in light in all aspects of your life. The first shift you experienced was a spiritual shift from the kingdom of devil, of bondage and darkness into the kingdom of God's marvelous light. Now that you are in the light, everything about your life should radiate God's light and presence. In your life, there shall be no more darkness. In your spiritual life, you will experience light. You keep shifting from one level of grace and faith to the next. As path of the righteous shines bright and bright until the perfect day, so will your path shine bright for the world to see. It is onward and forward from this moment. No more retrogression, no more backwardness. You will keep going higher and higher, becoming better and better. Through Christ, you have the ability to do all things. You not only become a recipient of miracles, but miracles are also wrought through your hands. That is the kind of shift God is planning for your life. Many will come to the knowledge of Christ because of your life. You will become a blessing to others, a joy to many generations. From poverty, lack and wretchedness, the Lord will turn your story around. If you have been borrowing from people before and are in so much debt, there will be a sudden shift. You will get out of all those debts and instead of borrowing, you will start lending to others. You will lend to individuals and companies, but it will not stop there. You will also lend to nations. 
so much will be your wealth and greatness in this life. As the scriptures has said, many are waiting to see the manifestation of the sons of God. In your life, they will begin to see that manifestation. Your will life become a fruitful vine. You will bear fruits in every area of your life. Every dry and barren ground becomes fertile and you will reap your harvest in hundredfold. If you have been looking for the fruit of the womb, you will have your own children. No longer will you be called barren. You will become a mother to many and people will come to rejoice with you because of what God is doing in your life. You will have a new song to sing and your mouth will be filled with praises to God who has made it possible for you. Your testimonies will also be permanent. God who has started with you will not leave you halfway, but will complete every good work that he has begun in your life. As you bear fruits physically, you will also see a shift in your financial life. Your business will bloom and prosper. Whatever you lay your hands on begins to grow. You are no longer in the era of working endlessly without result to show for it. You are now in a season of fruitfulness where everything you touch receives life. So every dead missus is receiving life and you will begin to experience changes like never before. Like Isaac and Abraham in their time, you will become an envy of nations. Like Solomon, you will become a center of attention, attracting people from far and near because of the glory of the Lord upon your life. That is the kind of shift that God is bringing into your life. From poverty to wealth, from grass to grace, from nothing to abundance, and the Lord will help you to use the wealth for right purposes that He has ordained it for. He will keep you and you will not experience a shift in the opposite direction. When God brings a shift into a person's life, that person experiences favor like never before. Like Esther, everyone that sets their eyes on you will have no choice but to favor you. Doors that were once shut to you will begin to open of their own accord. You will get to places that you have never dreamed of and sit with people in high places. Even if you have been abandoned before, you will be remembered all of a sudden. Mephibosheth went from being a helpless man to eating at the king's table in a single day. That will be your story as well. You will be honored like Mordecai even by your enemy. It does not matter who the Lord decides to use. You will come to your greatness through God's favor upon your life. Just believe it and you will see all of the things working out in your favor and for your progress. When the Lord turned the captivity of the Israelites, they were like them that dreamed. They had a new song on their lips and people could not but testify of God's goodness in their lives. Your miracles will come to you as a great surprise. It will daze you and everyone around you. Your tears will be turned to laughter and your sorrow will become joy and happiness. You begin to reap the good harvest of the seed that you have sown in tears and pain. Because of the wonders and splendor that surrounds you, you will forget the pain of yesterday and begin to enjoy wealth and prosperity. You will flourish like a tree that is planted by the riverside, bringing out its fruit in its season. Everything your hand touches prospers, and everything works for your favor. All obstacles are removed from your path and every enemy to your success will be taken out by God's power at work in you. You are victorious. You are prosperous. You are more than a conqueror. You are the redeemed of the Lord, heirs to the kingdom of God. Nothing stops you or keeps you down. Nothing can get to you anymore. You are above only and can never come down or be the tail. You're going out and you're coming in blessed. Your barns and your stores are filled with plenty. 
the things of old will be forgotten because God is doing new things in your life. People might have mocked you before and called you names. They will come to you and bow before you and ask the secret to your success. They will join you in celebrating the good things that God has done in your life. Receive your favor now. Receive the blessings that are coming your way. Receive your miracles. Get ready to be moved. You are being shifted from the natural to the supernatural and from the ordinary to the extraordinary. It is your time and it is your season. Keep declaring these things and do not stop praying about it. Your shift into God's best for you is here.